Well, Senator Marsha Blackburn spent much of Friday in Northeast Tennessee surveying damage left behind from Hurricane Helene. Jaxie Pigeon joining us now in studio with what uh, she discovered during her visit. It is certainly a long road to recovery there, Jaxie. That's right, Blake. Senator Blackburn was in Washington and Greene counties yesterday to continue assessing that storm damage. She reports that while rebuilding efforts are underway, many are still without their homes and livelihoods. Because of that, she says it's of the utmost importance that people and businesses get the care and attention they need after such a devastating natural disaster. Tennessee has the best volunteers and the best communities, and people have stepped up. I think it is just so inspiring how they've come forward with water and food and furniture and clothing, and uh, the communities are partnering up to help everybody in Upper East Tennessee and help them rebuild. And there's good news for tourists. Travel experts tell News 2 Northeast Tennessee parks are starting to reopen. Roan Mountain is opening several trails this weekend. Sycamore Shoals Historic Park near Elizabethton is open with some trails still closed. And Rocky Fork State Park in Flag Pond is open but does have closed sections within that park. Senator Blackburn was excited to share a restoration update on the Kinzer Bridge on the Irwin Highway, which was washed away in the Nolichucky River during that storm. She tells us repairs will be completed by the middle of next year. Blake. All right.